Master, I informed you yesterday in the arena that knowledge of the enemy's tactics is key. For that reason, you must drain the campus of information every single day. When you enter the arena, you forfeit any further investigation for that day. Humans do not replicate their actions, so what you miss one day is gone forever. So, make a habit of investigating campus and listening to others before entering the arena. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand, Saber. Indeed. Then, let us initiate today's investigation. Yeah, let's get to work. Um, where to start, though? <laughs> Look at that. It seems our delicate little friend is engaged in some sort of dispute. We might be able to learn something to our advantage. Let's go over there, shall we? I wonder what those two could be talking about. I managed to track down Shinji. It looks like he's talking with someone right now. Have you been inside the arena yet? Interesting place, isn't it? I thought it was amazing at first, but it's really pretty primitive. It's like an ocean pulled from a story. I even saw a master who managed to summon Armstrong. Sorry, I was just messing with you. I dig the sea theme. Overall, the game's pretty well done. What's this? You actually managed to summon a decent servant then. Asia's premier hacker, Shinji Mato. You know, I may have had to take crap from you in the past, but this time, the winner is me. With her armada to back me up, I'm invincible! Nothing you can do is even gonna touch me! <laughs> you must be pretty confident to give out information about your servant to an enemy, Mato. That elegant voice can only be Rin Tosika's. Only she can crush Shinji's pride with a word. Shinji's face goes bright red as he suddenly realizes how big of a mistake he just made. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. One-sided fights bore me, so think of this as a gift. But is it really? I might just be lying. You might want to forget what I said. That is true. A single word would never expose a servant's true name, after all. However, a class that controls an armada and is tied to a ship will thin out the candidates some. How will she attack? Bombardment or frontal assault? It will definitely be physical in nature. Well... Well, I guess the only thing left for me to do is prepare a great many physical barriers. Shinji's face goes from bright red to a terrifying shade of blue right before my eyes. Once you learn something about an enemy servant, you can begin to make plans to defeat them. If both sides are strong, but only one side plans, the results of the battle would be obvious. So that's what they mean by knowledge is power. I understand perfectly now. Oh, one more thing. I wonder if the Invincible Armada might be relevant to anything. I mean, others will start making references to that. Right? Won't that just piss off your servant? Well, whatever. Knowledge means nothing if you can't do anything with it. There's a good chance that you and I will never have to face each other. Later, Toe Sucker. With that final pathetic attempt at a comeback, Shinji turns around and starts walking away. And, of course, he is heading in my direction. As I wasn't hiding, Shinji sees me right off. Uh, hey, Shinji. Uh, you! You weren't there the entire time, were you? Were you? <laughs> well, it's not like you can stop the invincible arm. Uh, I mean, my servant. Whatever. My victory is all but assured. Catch you later. Oh, and try not to disappoint me. Sure, whatever you say. <sighs> it seems there are a great many masters who don't understand the stakes involved. Rin's right about that. <sighs> I hate agreeing with that harpy, but she's right. 
Our foe doesn't grasp the power of information. Though difficult, it is vital that we scour the arena and campus for valuable information. Investigating our foe was the correct course of action. <laughs> Just as I said. Yeah, it was. Indeed. To reiterate, obtaining information about your enemy is the key to victory. To make sure we don't overlook anything, we should continue our searches of the arena and campus. More info could come to light with every new day. Do not allow your diligence to flag, ever. You understand? Thanks for the pep talk, Saber. The library seems like a good place to start today. These shelves comprise the religion and political science section. The titles of the books here are incredibly obtuse. Just the thought of reading one makes me drowsy. I don't think that'll help. About the Invincible Armada. The name given to the Spanish Navy during what is known as the Age of Exploration. With over 100,000 ton ships and 65,000 crew members, it almost subjugated all of England. Through the might of its navy, Spain was seen as the kingdom on which the sun will never set. Huh, interesting. A legendary soul who wields dual pistols? Hmm, I could see that being Date Masamune. Tough question, man. But it's kind of fun to brainstorm all the possible answers. Uh, thanks for the help, I guess. A legendary soul who dual wields pistols? That makes me think of... Billy the Kid? Calamity Jane? No, I'm sorry, that isn't right. His servant doesn't look much like an Old West outlaw. But then what in the world could his servant's identity be? In any case, I have to return to my own investigation. I really don't know enough yet. Well, that helped a little. I think. You're lucky you got Macho in the first round. Sucks be whoever got Tosica. I don't know her personally, but I hear she's a real queen bee. I feel sorry for her opponent. Yeah, me too. I'd hate to fight Reen so early. How's your investigation coming along? Me, I can't seem to find out anything about my opponent. Uh, if my opponent was as clueless and careless as Shinji, my life would be so much easier. Yeah, I really lucked out there. You actually fought Shinji, Mato. So how did it go? Is he as strong as everyone says he is? Fighting anyone without enough info is suicide, especially if that person's servant is strong. If you don't discover a master's weakness before facing them, you're as good as dead. While she was in the arena, I started poking the campus around for her, but... I was starting to wonder, why am I doing all of her work? Keep this to yourself, okay? This sounds like trouble in paradise there. All right, let's head inside to the arena. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, Saber, let's see if we can't clear more of this floor today. Maybe we'll get all of it done, actually. My blade still yearns for more. Uh, which way haven't we gone before? Is this some... Um, I've got nothing, actually. Let's do this. Take that! Brace yourself! Uh, just keep breaking it, Saber. It seems to really like one to more time. Withstand this. 
Awesome. One after the other they come. Will they ever learn? Okay, what have we got here? This is truly spectacular. Saber, hey, let me give see. that back. Let me see. No, it. Saber, this let isn't for it. you. How dreary. I was excited to learn that this stage was set under the sea. What? Were you expecting sharks swimming underneath us? Okay, let's see how tough you are, Mr. Killer Bee. Here we go. He's not so tough. We got this, Saber. Another round! Why, you? I can do this! I'm kinda hungry right now, actually. Hmm, that had the spot. Traitor, take note. I find that type of enemy to be quite entertaining. Oh, hey, the trigger! What's this? All right, one trigger down, one to go. So, this is a trigger. Kotomine said that there are two per round, so do not forget to obtain the second one. You are quite the hard worker. Done already? With that done, let's head out for today, Saber. Then let us continue tomorrow. I was just getting started. <sighs> she's kind of cute when she's sleeping. Let's see, an invincible armada. Well, that probably means a sailor of some kind, right? Walking through campus, I can see various NPCs who appear as busy students among the masters. Not only do the NPCs look slightly different, but their behavior seems a little... off. Maybe it's their lack of a soul. To them, this battle is just a string of data variables. Within a small group of gathered masters, one person stands out like a sore thumb. Oh, it's you. So you qualified for the actual tournament as well. I believe that I remarked that we would meet again. It's Leo. The force of his presence overwhelms his seemingly innocent appearance. Before, it felt like he was a wolf let loose in the chicken coop. Now, I feel out of place. And he isn't alone. Behind him stands a shadowy figure, radiating the same aura of strength. The figure is clad in armor and armed with a sword. His aura marks him as a servant. Oh, Gawain? Uh, how forgetful of me. Gawain, introduce yourself. I am his servant, Gawain. I'm pleased to meet you and hope you will be a worthy foe. As the armored figure nods in greeting, an enigmatic smile forms on his lips. He is the exemplar of knighthood and, though a servant, has the same bearing as his master. Sir Gawain, one of the Knights of the Round Table mentioned in the Legends of King Arthur. It's said that his prowess rivaled King Arthur's and his holy sword was equal in power to Excalibur. It's obvious that he is a Saber-class servant. It won't be too hard to learn more about him. Maybe I'll discover a weakness of his. I'm sure Leo was aware of how much information he's given me, but he seems unconcerned. It's obvious that he chooses not to concern himself with such things as subtlety or tactics. For him, if something is destined to be revealed, so be it. From his point of view, his victory is all but assured. His superiority over others reinforced every day since he was born. 
I must take my leave now. I hope to see you again. Please fight with honor and pride. With a polite bow, Leo and his servant turn and depart, leaving me somewhat dumbfounded. Leo, I knew one of the Harways would be here, but the scion of the family himself. With that murmured comment, the murderous glare Reem shot at Leo was almost palpable. The power of the Holy Grail. I guess the plutocrats of Europe see a threat in the Seraph. But still, to risk him. Oh well. What was borrowed on Earth will be repaid in Heaven. Things just got more interesting. Although, my powers as a Magus are far superior to his. Uh, bye, Reen? I get the feeling that Leo has little concern for those like us. Without so much as saying hi, the now fired up Reen Tosica almost seems to stomp away. I should spend some time looking into Gawain's background. I'll head to the library later. Back to the library. Hey, Rain. Ah, a pleasant evening to you. I trust you're doing well, all things considered. You will never catch even a glimpse of victory if you insist on always running away. However, facing a foe you know nothing about is lunacy. In this war, information is everything. To defeat your opponent, learn all you can about them. Their class, skills, even their history. The more info you have, the easier it will be to create a plan and predict your opponent's actions. For now, why don't you go to the library? There's a treasure trove of information there. Uh, why are you telling me this, Reem? No reason, really. I just have a feeling that you'll somehow come out on top. Mato is an idiot, but he has one before. It'll make things easier if he gets defeated early on. Anyway, do your best. Thanks. I think I might learn a few things about Shinji's and Leo's servants. I should probably listen to her advice and go poke around the library. All right, now to the library. Oh, great. Hey, look who the cat dragged in. I never expected to run into you. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. The library is the best place to find info. I know all about you, so I expect you to go all out against me. But enough about me. Looks like you're having a hell of a time finding the book you want. Unfortunately for you, I've thoughtfully taken every book about my servant and hid them. <laughs> I thought you'd have more fun this way. I hid everything somewhere in the arena. I wonder if a weak sauce master like you will be able to find them. By the way, what does your servant want in return for helping you? Money, right? I knew it. Do your best! Well, you still can. <laughs> well, see you around. Good luck. I hope you'll put up a little more of a fight next time we meet in the arena. You're starting to bore me. <laughs> Did he just say weak sauce? Ugh, anyway. Hakuno Takeda, congratulations on making it to the main tournament. Your first opponent is Shinji Mato, I believe. Be cautious around him, as I hear his servant is powerful. Oh, it seems that you don't fully accept that our previous school life was but a convenient farce. Let's see, since fate has made us companions, perhaps I should explain things to you. Shall I? Yes, please, Leo. Let's get started. Do you know what a reality marble is? It's a thaumaturgical technique whereby one space is transformed into a completely different space. Some servants are able to generate reality marbles. As it takes a great deal of energy to sustain a reality marble, most lasts only a few minutes. The school that housed prelims happened to be a reality marble generated by the Holy Grail. Besides the school as it appeared in the prelims, the current school, the arena, and the Colosseum 
all are individual reality marbles created by the incredible magic of the Holy Grail. To give you an idea of just how powerful the Holy Grail is, even the most advanced supercomputer couldn't sustain one reality marble this length of time. All the participants in the Holy Grail War had their memories wiped out upon entering. Then, the Holy Grail's reality marble gave all the participants school personas to inhabit. Masters had a time limit of four days to realize they had been tricked into playing a role. Potential masters had to pass that basic test to enter into the Holy Grail War. <laughs> Although Tosaka seemed to shake off her yoke very quickly. By the way, Miss Fujimura and Issei Ryudo aren't masters. They're NPCs with specific roles. The masters who did not break free of the fantasy were dealt death. Tragic, but the Holy Grail War itself is a lengthy process of culling the weak. A word of advice? Learn all you can. I assure you the information will benefit you greatly later on. Okay, uh, reality marbles aside, I need to look for information. About Gawain. One of the major knights mentioned in the Arthurian cycle and often thought to be King Arthur's nephew. Equal in skill to Lancelot, he served as an advisor to Arthur. He was at odds with Lancelot due to his slaying of both of Gawain's brothers. Due to his overwhelming nobility and youthful impetuousness, he placed his family ties above all else. It was Sir Gawain's hatred of Lancelot that eventually led to his and Arthur's eventual downfall. It was in the Battle of Camlan that Sir Gawain fell, slain by Sir Lancelot. 